Hi guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to remove an element from a photograph. Are you telling me this mysterious stranger just disappeared off the face of the earth? In this case, we're going to remove this girl completely from this image. We're going to be using a couple of features inside of GIMP. And we're also going to be using the GMIC plugin, but we're going to go grand. We're going to remove an entire person from inside the image. So we'll start off by using the free select tool, which you get in tools, selection tools, free select, or you can just choose the icon here. And we're going to make a selection around the girl. The free selection tool is very easy to use and it just basically involves clicking and dragging, or you can click and click and it will very quickly make a selection. So we're going to duplicate the original image so that we can work on a spare copy. I'm going to start off by making a selection around the girl, just clicking and dragging. And we can actually use very rough polygonal lines to make the selection complete. I don't want any of the girl to be outside of the selection. When we get to the end, you'll find that there is this circle, which is at the beginning and that fills in with the color. Once that happens, I can click once and then double click inside and that completes the selection. So we've now got the marching ants. We can now go ahead and use the GMIC plugin. But before we do that, something crazy, choose a crazy color, which is not inside the image. In this case, I'm going to choose a really bright bluish pink color. We'll drag that color into the selection, select none, and we can now apply the GMIC plugin. So filters, GMIC QT. We're going to use the in paint filter, which is a really powerful kind of resynthesizer or content aware filter. Let's go and search for it. So we'll search for in paint and you'll see that there are a number that come up. We're going to choose multi scale and I'm going to set it at default. The only thing we need to change from the default settings is the color. So the mass color is going to be this color and we're going to click there, choose pick screen color, and then click on the color that we selected for our mask. Hit OK. That changes the color here. I'm going to change the mass dilation to about four. And then what we'll do is apply the filter. Now, because I'm not going to run a preview, I'm going to go to the input output and make sure that I'm choosing the output to a new layer. So that means it won't overwrite the old layer. The other thing I want to do is to just show you a little bit about how the GMIC plugin works. We're going to hit OK and it will take a bit of time to process. So let me explain what's going on here. We've got the, we've got the progress bar at the bottom and we've got the process time the amount of RAM being used, and we've got the cancel button here, or what they call the abort button. To cancel completely out of GMIC, you would use this button over here with cancel on it. We'll let this complete running, it's at 50%. So if, if your computer is taking a really long time, you might wanna go ahead and make a cup of tea. So what we should see is that the colored area is completely replaced with something that looks like the background. A little bit like resynthesizer, but a little bit more sophisticated. Once that's done, we can go ahead and fix any problems we see with the result using the clone tool. The clone tool allows us to manually select areas and copy them to another part of the image. So this is going to be done fairly soon. And I might just cut away for a while and then come back. Okay, we're done here and you can see the result. So this is before, this is after. We'll now go to the new layer, which is right at the top and we can actually use the clone tool. So I'm gonna click on the clone tool down here or tools, paint tools, clone. And we can then do a little bit of editing. So you can see that the original image has the girl there and she's been replaced by something that looks like the background. But there are a few areas where the transitions are a little bit 
harsh or a little bit wrong. And there we can just use the clone tool. So working on the top layer, the new layer, we can control or command click on an area that looks like an area that we want to fix. And then just click. And you can see that transition has been cleared up now. And you might not be able to see very clearly, but if I go and choose filter, enhance, sharpen, and just really increase the sharpening. You can see this kind of rough outline. I want to remove as much of that as possible using the clone tool. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just control or command clicking and then painting with the selection that I've made. I'm just selecting from different areas so we can get a little bit of variety going on. Now, once that's done, I think this is looking okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we um, can then just zoom out and see what that looks like. And you can see there, we've got an image that looks as though there was nothing there originally. You'll remember that when we were inside GMIC, there were a number of parameters that you could play around with. Let's have a look at what sort of differences we can get if we use different parameters. So I used a few parameters. This was the original selection and got different results. And I want to show you what the default results look like compared to the alternative results. So this was the default result that I got. This was with slightly different settings. I just experimented with slightly different settings. You can see it's a little bit better. And this was one where I use some pretty intense settings. This one it looks pretty good up here. There's a little bit of uh, work that needs to be done down here. But with this one, it's, it's almost perfect. But for the most part, you find that it works very well on one type of texture and not very well on another type of texture. For instance, these horizontal lines here. But as long as the large part of the image is actually looking good, you can go ahead and just use the clone tool to fix any areas that don't look so good. So that's going to be it for this one. I think that was a really good, that was a really good outcome. We'll leave it at that and um, see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Mr. Mills, are you telling me this mysterious stranger just disappeared off the face of the earth? I'm telling you what happened, Inspector. Three of us saw him. The other two actually spoke to him. And a few minutes later, this weird-looking man vanished. Ah.